Hi, my name is Matthew. My name is Sam. And we're here at the first permanent capital of North Carolina, Tryon Palace. Tryon Palace is occupied by six governors. And Tryon Palace is located in North Carolina and was the capital from 1770 to 1788. And we're here to tell you about some of the games that would have been played here in North Carolina. These games would have been played by Governor William Tryon's daughter, Margaret, and Governor Josiah Martin's five children that lived here at the palace. Some of these games are more familiar to us, such as balls and tops. Some are less familiar, and now we're going to show you some of the less familiar ones. Matthew here, and today I'm going to tell you about the game Hoop and Stick. So the object of the game is to keep your, the hoop rolling for as long as you can without it falling over. So in order to start, you will give it a little push, and then you'll run after it while hitting it with your stick. This game was played a lot outside, and now I'm going to show you how. And here's how you play. First game for today is going to be lawn ball. And this right here is, our, is your objective. It is called the, uh, the jack. Matthew's gonna, be, Matthew's gonna be throwing it out. And what you, what the what the objective, objective is, is you're gonna try to get the, get the color, whatever color ball you have, to try to get as close to that as possible. Close to the jack ball, not touch it. If you touch it, that ball's point does not count. So here, a lady's gonna go first, because ladies first. So, Matthew next. That's Lilith's turn. Hold on. And there can be from two to four players of this game. And it was played by many children and adults. It was a very um, exciting game. And that's it. And now we're going to see who won. Looks like the Matthew has won. How you know who's won is whoever got the closest ball to the jack. So the blue ball has won. So Matthew has won. Hi, Matthew here. And I'm here to tell you about graces. Graces would have been played by normally just two girls or a boy and a girl, never two boys. Graces is take, you would take a hoop and two sticks, make your sticks into an X shape, and then put your hoop on top of it, pull them apart, and send them across to the other player. A lot of stable boys would be in here cleaning up poop and grooming the horses. And this is where they would work, and after hours, after they're all done with their chores, they could come in here and pull this out of their pocket and play with it. What it is, is it's a top. Many boys would play with it in their stables. Girls and boys to try on would play it up in the um, in the palace. A lot of the royals would play it in the palace, but all of the younger servants would play it in the stables or other places. How to play play with the top? Simply, you just spin the top, and you'll see. Matthew here, and I'm going to tell you about ring toss. So the object of the game is to get as many rings on the stick as you can. You get, and whoever, to win, whoever gets the most rings onto the hoop is the winner. So you will throw the ring at the stick to try and get it on. Here's how to play. Another game that the boys, the stable boys would play is the whirly game. And it's simply just a little rigid, little coin on a string, two pieces. You put your fingers like that. And now I'm going to show you this is how you play whirly game. You have your fingers like this, and the string, and you simply go like this, twist it up. I'm here to tell you about mini graces. 
Mini Grace is a very similar game to Grace's, except it will be played by played alone by one person inside a building such as the palace. Mini Grace's is very similar to Grace's as it uses the same stick and stick and hoop as you try as you throw. And the way you play is you will use the stick and throw the hoop in the air and then catch it on your stick. And now Elizabeth is going to show you how. And this is how you play. And what we'll be showing you is cup and ball. A lot of stable boys and other children, governor, the governor's children, he would be they would be playing it as well, but not in the stables. They'd be playing it in the palace, and the stable boys, this is another game they'd be playing. Simply, all you do is you just throw the cup up, and this is how you play cup and ball. You simply, you get the ball, and you fling it up to the cup. Let's see if I can get it. Thank you for traveling through us with his exploring the fun game, end up by diversions of our colonial children in Newburn, North Carolina. Colonial Gover Governor's Mansion, Tryon Palace, is a perfect backdrop, backdrop for the games that we have demonstrated for you. We hope that you have learned something new today, and we hope that you will keep on learning about history in the great state of North Carolina. Thank you for watching.